Based on what you've told me about your child's ears and their examination and hearing test, I agree with your GP that they could benefit from having middle ear ventilation tubes inserted. This is also known as grommets. I'll explain the procedure now. When children are having surgery, we aim to disrupt them from their family unit as little as possible. We expect a parent to come with the child right into the operating theatre and stay with them until they're under anaesthetic and then come back into the recovery room when they're waking up and stay with them throughout their hospital stay. Children come in on the day of surgery. The procedure takes 20 minutes and they're discharged home from hospital around two hours after surgery. I recommend they take that day and the next day off school, daycare or kinder. I'll check on your child a week after surgery and then again 12 months after surgery. Children have a full general anaesthetic for this procedure and it's important to follow the fasting instructions that the hospital gives you. Small children are more at risk of having breathing problems under anaesthetic, particularly if they're unwell or have a cold or chest infection on the day of surgery. If your child's unwell, the anaesthetist may recommend delaying the surgery until they've improved to keep the operation as safe as possible. Following surgery, I recommend that you use earplugs to keep water out of the ears during bathing, showering and swimming. This is particularly important for children under five and when swimming in pools. My practice nurse can help you choose a set of earplugs that will fit your child and we recommend you use them before surgery so the child's used to them when they get home from hospital. If your child gets an infection while the grommets are in place, you may notice a pussy discharge from the ear. If this happens, it's important to act quickly and contact me or your general practitioner for an appointment to commence antibiotic eardrops. If you're concerned about your child's hearing or if they're having recurrent ear pain or discharge that's not improving with eardrops, please come back to see me earlier. Usually the grommets are temporary and last nine to 12 months. For some children, one set of grommets is not enough and they have further ear disease and need another set of grommets inserted. This happens to around one in four children. The only long-term complication with having ventilation tubes inserted is that for around one in 300 kids, the eardrum doesn't heal well when the grommet comes out and they may need to have that hole healed when they're older. If you'd like more information about the surgery, please ask me or my practice nurse or look at our website.